guys, welcome back to the Snipes YouTube channel. I'm back with another Styling with Lisa. Today we're checking out unisex outfits featuring the new brands at Snipes called Picas and 6th June. I have some really cool outfits here, a lot of pieces that I'm obsessed with, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first outfit, super cute. Um, a lot of the Pika stuff is like very oversized, which I really like. So we have this super cute hoodie with graphics on top. Um, I really love the colors they use. So it's like the cream. I love whenever cream is paired with like a baby blue. I just think that's a beautiful combination. So I would wear this with some kind of like cargo pants like these. Again, oversized, really make it like a slouchy fit. And then you can layer it by adding this cute little shirt on top. Um, that way you're also adding some more color, kind of mixing, and I think these three just look really good together. Um, and I also really like whenever you wear a shirt like this and then you have the hoodie kind of pop out in the back. I think that's a really nice detail. So the hoodie I'm wearing right now is also from Picas and I have to say the quality is just so nice. You can really tell that it's um, high quality but also just like the fabric is nice and thick and especially now during winter, that's very important. I don't like when hoodies are like super thin and like it just feels like you're not wearing anything. But these are really nice, especially if they're like oversized. Um, let's see. So here I have another hoodie from Picas. Again, really nice graphics, the blue again. And then I would pair this with more of like a, a like flared legging like this or well, I don't think this is super flared, more like a wide leg. So this is like a super comfortable outfit. I really like pairing more of like tighter bottoms when I wear something super oversized on top, just like I'm wearing right now. Um, and these colors just go together really nice. As you can tell, it's kind of like all cream. And I would pair this with, what shoes would I wear? Honestly, just some white sneakers I think would look nice. Maybe just these. Or you could go super bold and wear black Air Forces, but depends on where you're going. Maybe that's not a good idea. People will think you're robbing a store or something. So the next outfit is a hoodie from 6th June. So this hoodie is a lot more of like a softer fabric. Um, and then in the back, it has a really cool detail, which I like kind of this like teddy fabric. And I also really love the color of this, to like the brown with like the actual like chocolatey brown in the back. Um, so you could wear this again with some really cute cargo pants. These are also from 6th June. And it just gives like a super, what would I call this? Kind of like tomboy, I guess, look. Something I also really like about the brand 6 June is that they really stand for self-love and loving others, but also passion and diversity. I think it's really important when a brand stands for things like that because it also aligns with my values. So for the next outfit, I have another hoodie from 6 June. So how I would style this, because it's obviously like a basic hoodie, right? So I would get this in kind of like a bigger size, like wear it more oversized, and then maybe with some cute biker shorts like this. Um, just to add some like pattern in there and make the look a bit different. If it is too cold to wear shorts, you can also wear maybe leggings like I'm wearing right now with like a little flare or just basic leggings, maybe with some high socks and sneakers. I think that's always like a really cute look. Always comfortable and you can wear it to like any occasion really. So next we have this t-shirt from Picas. I love this. I think their graphics are so cool. Um, it kind of gives this like vintage look, which I really like. You don't actually have to get a vintage t-shirt. You can basically just get this. And again, it feels so nice. It's super soft, but it is like nice and thick. Like it's not gonna be see-through or anything. Um, yeah, graphics are just really cool. This is what it looks like on the back. And then I would wear this maybe with some flared leggings like this. So these are from 6 June. I think the contrast in the stitching is really cool. I still really like that trend. I don't think it's gonna go out of style yet. Um, and just having like the contrast of the like beige stitching on the black just looks really nice. And again, you can just wear this with some sneakers. You can honestly wear any type of sneaker with this because it is like an all black outfit. Super cute. Okay, so here I have another t-shirt which has um, the same gra graphic as one of the hoodies that I showed you earlier. Um, again, super high quality, soft. I would wear this with 
a shirt like this. This is from 6th June. The colors match so well, and this actually also has some blue in there, so that just ties back with the t-shirt, which is nice. And you can go for a little denim moment. This is like a split denim type of jeans. Super cute. Um, yeah, just kind of like a baggy jean. I think that always looks nice. And you can also tuck the t-shirt into your bra if you want to create a little bit more shape and you don't want to be like too oversized. But I also think it does look really cool when you just kind of let it all flow and like don't necessarily try to go for like an hourglass shape. Um, and I would probably wear this with just some basic white Air Forces or something like that. I think it's really cute. Everything is cute. It's the only word I got. <laughs> So this next outfit is very different. You could totally dress this up more. This is from 6th June. It's kind of like a velvety um, matching set. I think it's so pretty. It's super soft. And what I really like is whenever they put like ties in a t-shirt like this, because that way you can pull it tighter and it can really like create this really nice shape. Um, and then it also has the flared pants with again these ties. I just think that looks really pretty and you can put the ties around your waist to kind of like cinch in your waist a little bit. Um, you could totally dress this down with sneakers, but you can also dress it up with heels or even a blazer, which I have right here. I would probably go for maybe like a super oversized blazer. I think those look the best, but obviously you need to do what you think looks best on you. Um, but yeah, pairing this with a blazer would be really nice and this would also just be a really nice like dinner outfit or something. It's gonna be super comfy since it's stretchy, so when you're eating, like you have room to grow. <laughs> okay, those are all the outfits. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the Snipes YouTube channel and also like the video and leave a comment down below which outfit was your favorite. I'm really excited to hear it and I'll see you guys next month. Bye!